kumakaway na naman si Charlene. Ano na naman kaya ang matututunan natin ngayong araw na to? I never made it But I know what it takes Some motivated By a mix of emotion Got my statement Hi, it's me, Mom Shelen, your pre-calculus teacher for this semester. And this is a pre-recorded video of your first conic section, which is circles. Ta-da! Circles. Uh, sariling sikap yung ano, sounds ganun. Ta-da! <laughs> so, uh, for this discussion, you would need to log into your Ireland account because you would be uploading your... Um, formative assessments there and some of the references are also put there let's begin with activity one spotting the circle so this activity is found in your arrow links it's uploaded there so let's say we have uh, this circle here and the measurements of the following line segments from a uh, line segment a b so that's from the center which is a going to be the red line is 7 centimeters and then AC the orange line the orange line is also 7 centimeters and AD the blue line is uh, also 7 centimeters let's say those are the measurements of the line segments inside this circle by the way this is circle A because of the center is uh, labeled as point A the question now, of course, would have random recitation. If we would draw segment AE, you would, uh, what do you think would be its measurement? So from the center going to point E over there, what do you think would be the measurement? So for those who answered seven centimeters, then you are correct. Very good. Now, if we choose another point on the circle, on the circle itself, not in, not out, on the line itself, and measure its distance from the center, what do you think will its measure be? Mula dun sa gitna, papunta kahit saan, doon sa mismong bilog, ano ang magiging sukat ng line segment natin? If you answered 7 centimeters, very good, you are correct. Last question. What part of the circle are these segments drawn from the center of the circle going to any point on the circle? Segment AB, segment AC, segment AD. What part of the circle is that? What part of the circle is that? Isip, 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 and the correct answer is... Radius. These are examples of radii of a circle. Okay, so back then in junior high school, when you define a circle, it is a figure that has no corners, no sides. You know, definition natin. But here in analytic geometry or coordinate geometry, a circle is defined as a locus or set of all points x, y in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point hk called the center. Again, uh, confused, huh? But on the mind, when you say locus, let's take it word for word. When you say locus, it means a group of points. Let's say you have a group of fishes that's called the school, a group of lions is called pride. So here, a group of points or a set of points is called a locus, locus of points. So it's a collection of all points. Say those points are denoted by x, y in a plane, again, in a coordinate plane that are equidistant from a fixed point. So what do I mean? Uh, let's say we have uh, the center. This is the center. And according to the definition, the center is uh, defined by h, k. So ang coordinates ng center is h, k. When you talk about a circle, it's a collection of all points that are equidistant. So let's say we have this point, this point, another point, point, and point. It's a collection of all of those points wherein the distance, this distance, is equal to this distance, to this, to this, to all of that until you create 
a circle such that anywhere there all of those points all of those points are <laughs> equidistant from this center so that's what it means this is the uh, analytic definition and then the distance between the center and any point x y sorry the distance uh, between the center and any point here let's say this is labeled as x y that's called the radius so from that day when we talk about the radius the radius is just a line segment from the center to any point on the circle this time it is defined as the distance itself so we are talking about the distance here okay so let's proceed to the analytical approach so for the analytical approach that means we would start solving see you on the next video again i never made it